Hello! Xiaomi continue to invent new products and introduce innovative products into almost all niches of the market. And when they do, they do very well. This time, it's an Ultrabook. Two Ultrabooks. The 12.5 inch and 13.3 inch. And these screen sizes are not accidental, it makes a lot of sense. I've got a hold of 12.5 inch version, but we will talk about the 13.3 inch version as well, specification side of it anyway. My name is Dmitro Voloshin, this is the new MiBook Air 12.5. The Mi Book is available in 12.5 and 13.3 inch variations. The 12.5 inch version has no active cooling and the 13.3 has two cooling fans. This is the main difference that defines the usage model for these two laptops. Both versions sport the Intel platform, both have gorgeous Full HD screens, both are totally made of aluminum, have huge glass touchpads, both are charged with USB Type-C 3.1, are very thin and light and have a dual band 5GHz Wi-Fi. The 12.5 inch version has the new Intel Core M3 6Y30 processor that boosts up to 2.2GHz and does not need the active cooling as it emits only 38 watts of heat. The CPU is also really fast, it's almost as fast as the full laptop i5. It scores 3056 in the CPU benchmark test. It does throttle at full power though after some time, but still holds up to be really fast. The casing does get warm under load, but not too much. There is only one option for amount of RAM, it's 4GB and a fast 128GB SSD. It is connected via a new M.2 connector and can be swapped for a bigger drive if needed, up to a terabyte currently. This is rarely done in Ultrabooks and definitely a welcome feature. The video adapter is an Intel HD Graphics 515. It is built into the processor but is really quiet enough for stuff like 4K video and simple modern games at low to medium settings when in Full HD. The laptop is very small and light, it's both thinner and lighter than the MacBook Air, less than 13mm at its thickest point and weighs just 1.07kg. With all this, the laptop can still last for up to 11.5 hours under light load. The 13.3 version is bigger but only just, it's 14.8 at its thickest and only 1.28 kilograms in weight. Here is the bigger 13.3 inch screen which like the 12.5 inch version has very slim screen bezels unlike the fruit guys on their air. And the 13.3 inch laptop size is much smaller than you would expect. The main difference between these two laptops is the active cooling. The 12.5 incher is a real ultra portable. The 13.3 guy is a workhorse, it can be your main work PC for quite sophisticated tasks. This 13.3 inch version has twice more RAM, up to full sufficient 8 gigs. The standard 256 gig SSD is soldered, while a second slot for M2 SSDs is free for expansion. This way you can expand the storage without replacing the original drive and have two SSDs. Genius! There is no other Ultrabook of this size to do this. The processor in this puppy is a full-fledged laptop i5-6200U that boosts up to 2.7GHz. It scores 4020 points on CPU benchmark and unlike 12.5 inch version doesn't throttle at all, which is very handy for heavy loads like retouching photos, editing videos and other heavy stuff. There is also a separate video card, the GeForce 940MX with 1GB of GDDR5 memory, which is quite good for serious stuff. Editing video and processing large photographs on such a laptop is totally doable. And light gaming as well. This smaller card is also more energy efficient and cooler than other more powerful or more memory capable cards. It's a good choice really. The laptop is cooled only when required, it is totally silent when not under heavy load. It has two different sized fans which spin rather quietly. Both these laptops have quite good audio chips, the Realtek ALC233 and 255 respectfully. The sound in the headphones is very good, on par with the best laptops out there. The two 2 watt speakers are made by AKG, they sound rather good and surprisingly loud on a such a small laptop. The keyboards on both of these computers are full size, backlit, with nice and sufficient amount of travel. They are made to match the color of the body and look good with the rest of the body of the laptop. Ports. The 12.5 inch laptop has the full size USB 3.0, the USB Type C for charging and peripherals, the full size HDMI, and combined headphone headset port. The 13.3 version has all those as well as another USB 3.0 port. The webcam is very good, it is HD, and looks and works much better than you know whose camera, huh? The laptop is available in silver and gold body color. Both options look really nice, minimalistic and cool. The top cover has no labels or logos on it, it is a great idea, the laptop looks much more stylish and neat. 
the battery lasts really long. The 12.5 inch version battery is 60 watt hour in size and you can watch over 8 hours of movies on YouTube on a single charge. Text work or internet even longer up to 11.5 hours. The 13.3 version has a 58 watt hour uh, battery which lasts up to 9.5 hours. Both laptops have very quick 30 minute charge to 50% and will fill up to 100% in about 90 minutes. A very neat feature is unlocking your MiBook Air with your Mi Band 2. You just have to have it on your hand and your laptop will unlock it for you. I like the laptop a lot. It looks great and is very comfy to use. It is a real alternative to the top of the line competitor laptops. It will equally suit a suit, a student's backpack or a dress. It feels at home in modern office, creative open space, somewhere on a conference or at the woods. This was the MiBook Air and my name is Dimitro Voloshin. See ya!